Thanks for tuning in to Bourbon Drop. I'm your host, Myron. Today, we've got a battle. Uh, both of these are finished bourbons. Now, I've never had either one of these. Thank you to Dave Vogel saying the Don. <laughs> Some people say call him Don Vogel saying. Some people say call him Dave Vogel samples. The dude is amazing, man. He is the godfather of the bourbon channels. I mean, this dude, he looks out for everybody. I can't thank you enough for the samples that you've blessed me with. I've got old samples that I still haven't even done yet, and I'm getting just new samples. So look, thank you, Dave. I appreciate it, man. I can't thank you enough. Today's matchup is Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend. This is batch 140 coming in at 115.4 proof. Never had any Joseph Magnus, and shout out to Henry Harris because he's asked me to do just a regular Joseph Magnus. And I just haven't had time yet. I haven't had time to buy a bottle. And another reason why <laughs> I I haven't had time is because I wasn't a big fan of Murray Hill Club. I am going to go out and get that bottle, Henry. I told you I was going to do it. So I am going to go out and give you a uh, review of the regular Joseph Magnus. But hopefully this will suffice until then. Now, the second bottle in the matchup is Angel's Envy Cash Strength finished in Port Wine. Uh, this is the 2023 coming in at 118.2 proof. So I figured it was a fair matchup. I figured, hey, why not put these two together, get them on the table, and see which one fares the best. Because like I said, I've never had either one, and Joseph Magnus seems to be flying off the shelves. But it has to be at the right price. Because I've seen them in some stores for just the one bottle, 350, and then you still have to buy a Mary Hill Club or you have to buy a regular Joseph Magnus in order to get it. Uh, there's a store right now running a deal where they're doing, it's $279 for a Joseph Magnus and a Mary Hill Club. So you're pretty much paying 180 for the Joseph Magnus, 100 bucks for the Mary Hill Club, which depending on what state you live in, they can go anywhere from 105 to 99. Uh, even I've seen them even a little cheaper than that. I just. I'm just, I, I wasn't a big fan, at least of the batch that I had. All right, table stop. Let's get the uh, wheel off the table. Let's see which one comes in number one. So, let's get, let's, let's get into the nose. Oak. I don't know. That's, it's, it's, it's almost like a, like a dry, dusty, wood that's pretty much all i'm picking up like just a dry dusty wood i'm not even picking up any sweetness yet sometimes i just have to taste it and then once i go back into it then those notes the nosing notes will come out oh that one's got a that one's got a little bit like a, a funkiness a sweetness it's got a little bit of that candy corn note That's that's a funky that's going on in that glass though, but I like it. It's sweet though. Let's uh let's go into the palette of uh, glass number one. Wow, that's good. That's rich. It's got a really good mouthfeel. The finish doesn't really creep in until the back, and I like that because I don't like things that are over finished. It's got a really good mouthfeel. I'm picking up some chocolate. I'm picking up plums. There's a really sweet, like, grapey note in there, too. Um, that's good. I like that one. I like that one a lot. Let's get into uh, glass number two. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Let's just say it's it's just seems like a lot of finishes. It just that could possibly be the Joseph Magnus. I don't know. I've never had it. This one that I I like the nose. The nose was this sweet, funky. Just it, it had a lot going on in the nose. Um, but when I put it on the palate, and it could be just because I'm coming off of uh, glass number one or glass number eight, however I label them in a video. Uh, that this one is just a little different. It's uh, It's got a lot of finishes together, so it could be the Joseph Magnus. I don't, I don't, oh, maybe because I'm coming off of glass number one. 
this just doesn't seem like my cup of tea. It just doesn't seem like it's put together well. Um, I don't know. And it's got like this, that, that funky weirdness that I liked on the nose. When it transferred over to the palette, it transferred in kind of like this weird uh, woody way, like a, almost like a, like a, like a, like a flavored popsicle stick, but not flavored with something you necessarily like. So let me, I was, oh, I thought, I wish I had a bottle of water close. I was about to say, let me clean, let me just go back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back this way and see if it changes up. All right, let's get into the nose. Picking up a little more spice, pepper, almost a little bit of like a, a prune. A little bit of like a cherry, uh, like a chocolate covered cherry is in there, in the nose. I'm, re I'm really trying to search for something and I'm hoping that coming off of this glass didn't, you know, because they will alter each other. So let me give this a fair shake. Okay, the second sip was better. It still got this kind of woody, I don't know, like a, maybe a, like a, I don't know, there's a popsicle stick with a weird note on it. Uh, it, it. It just has a lot of flavors thrown together. Let me see if I can pick out any of the fruit notes in it. Getting a little bit of that candy corn note. I'm getting a little bit of that black pepper. I'm getting this, and I don't get this note a lot. Almost like that that tobacco leaf note. Uh, if you've if you've ever dealt with tobacco leaves, chew tobacco leaves, dip whatever, and you've got the original, you know what I mean. So it's almost got like that that tobacco note. Um, don't know if I'm feeling that one. I really don't. I don't know if I'm if, if I'm feeling that one. Let's let's go back into glass number one. Now see, coming off of this glass, going back to this glass, I'm picking up more pepper. The notes have changed more to like a honey note. It doesn't come off as rich as it did when it first hit the tongue. But it's still good, still flavorful. The mouthfeel is still good, but it's just not coming off as rich. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that that tobacco note comes through so strong to me in this glass that the richness that came off at first in this glass just, just isn't there anymore. So I am actually going to have to give it to glass number one. So let's see what glass number one is, because I labeled them uh, uh, JM for Joseph Magnus and... AE for Angels Envy Cash Strength. Let's see what they are. This is the Joseph Magnus. This is the Joseph Magnus. Let's see if I can get that on camera. Let me finish the last little bit. I'm gonna try and zoom that, zoom in on those letters. So you got JM right there. That's good. I actually wanna keep this Last half of the sample, thank you, Dave. I wanna keep the last half of the sample and put it with a cigar. That's what it was meant for. It was meant to go up against a cigar. Um, I, yeah, yeah, I, I can't wait to get that one. It's just been a little too cold here in Maryland lately, uh, you know, to go out on the balcony at night. Normally during the day, the wife is home. She doesn't like dealing with the smell of the smoke, which I get, uh, so I don't really like the smoke during the day, but, um, I want to save this and put this with a cigar. Uh, this is none other than the Angel's Envy. Let me finish this glass. That's AE, not for American Eagle. <laughs> That's Angel's Envy. Um, I just, it was something, I, I, honestly, I started to think that this was the Joseph Magnus because when you read up on Joseph Magnus, it's Armagnac, it's Sherry, it's Cognac, this, to me, even though it's port wine barrels, tasted overdone. Now, on its own, it could probably be great. And I'll, I'll set this to the side 
and maybe come back to it tomorrow on its own and see what it does. But to me, as of right now, I'm not feeling it. And it kind of doesn't surprise me. The bourbon junkies loved it. Uh, I never was a fan of the regular Angel's Envy. So I was kind of hoping that I would like this. I was, I, I was hoping that I would like both. I was hoping that I would like both and one would just edge out the other. To me, in this situation, that is just not the case. The Joseph Magnus comes in number one, hands down. And with that being said, let the whiskey flow. Never run out unless you head it to a drop. Till next time. <laughs>